It's interesting to discover how many creative cottage industries have sprung up in Middle Tennessee, all thanks to people who turn their clever ideas into realities. Well, Susan Watson and I found a pair of prime examples recently in Williamson County, starting with the Franklin couple who puts a new spin on an old favorite wearable. These shoppers at the bar door in Franklin are exploring a new version of the trusty old flannel shirt. It's called, of all things, the Franklin flannel. It all started when Los Angeles transplants Dominic Geronda and his wife Cindy Laverty were having dinner at a local restaurant, pondering their future. And all of a sudden, some guy walked by wearing this flannel shirt, and I stopped him and I said, where did you get your shirt? And he said, oh, my wife just made it for me. And so right after he left, Dominic said to me, he goes, I can make you a shirt like that. I said, how do you know how to do that? Well, Dominic didn't know until he set up shop in their garage and gave it a shot. Before long, he was transforming new yet ordinary flannel shirts into Franklin flannels for customers, stores, and eventually wholesalers. We upcycle flannel shirts, vintage flannel shirts. It's called ombre. And um, it's, a, it's a gradation of color, so it either goes from the bottom up to lighter or darker to lighter. Right now, as we speak, I have no idea what this color is going to do. And if I want a little design there, I won't put it smooth. I'll keep it bulky. After he softens, rinses, and dries each shirt, the colors change even more. I have no idea how he does it because everyone comes out differently. Cindy spends most of her time here in what used to be the couple's dining room. She's in charge of quality control, sales, social media, mailing, and even labeling each shirt, which, like a snowflake, is one of a kind. Now you can see the difference of what I just did. Can you see the difference in the color? Because of their aftermarket business model, they can offer all sizes for both men and women, and of course, younger <laughs> fans of flannel. Dominic was a hairstylist and artist in LA. Nowadays, his creative flair goes into modifying flannel. And by the way, the fabrics respond differently to processing. Portuguese flannel, vintage flannel, cotton flannel, and if there's Things like polyester, it's not going to happen. Skillful as Dominic may be, sometimes the results aren't quite up to a fashion QC. Any shirts that don't come out the way we want them, we box them up and we give them to charity. So we're clothing children and women and men and helping out there. Adorable. Dominic and Cindy have never regretted moving from hectic LA to more laid back middle Tennessee and it doesn't seem like their fascination with flannel <laughs> will ever wear out. We have a few ideas down the road, you know, maybe um, pillows, you know, everything out of flannel. It's all gonna be flannel, so we'll build a flannel house. <laughs> Whatever. You're right, Joe, these flannels are pretty cool, and I know just the place to go to find a piece of jewelry that's gonna finish this outfit off. Located in the heart of Leaper's Fork, Studio B is a cozy little shop that features a charm bar with bowls and bowls of trinkets, tokens, and pendants. For a jewelry lover, it's paradise. For owner Betsy Ferg, it's a business venture that satisfies her creative passion. It's come out of my love for jewelry, which started very, very early on. As I got older and started making my own jewelry, people would ask me all the time. They'd stop me, oh, where do you get your jewelry? Do you sell jewelry? Do you buy jewelry? Do you design jewelry? I mean, it was just kind of so loud, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do this. So the way that I chose to do it is um, like an old-fashioned quilting bee. Mine is a jewelry bee. We come together to make the jewelry. You pick the pieces, and I help you design and make it. Betsy is always on the lookout for unusual and vintage pieces that will help tell someone's personal story. 
Finding the pieces is probably one of the funnest parts of my job, to be honest. Um, I go to flea markets, I'm on eBay, I buy big lots of jewelry, and sometimes you don't know what you're going to get until you, you know, unpack it and go through all of it. It can seem daunting with so many enticing charms to choose from, but Betsy is a pro at guiding people to a finished piece to be proud of. Whether you're a girl who has trouble making choices or a thoughtful but overwhelmed man wanting a special gift for a lady in his life. The male customers are my favorite, and I'll tell you why. They love me, and it's because I ask them so many questions about their significant other, whether it's their, you know, um, their bride-to-be or their wife or girlfriend. I ask them a ton of questions about their girlfriends or their partners, and I'm able to craft a necklace that has so much thought into it, and I'm telling you, I make those guys look good. Every Studio B creation is as unique as the person it's designed for. They're a piece of art that tells a story and a way to keep memories close. This particular necklace was designed from a collection of military uniform buttons belonging to a client's father and grandfather, representing both world wars. I've had all sorts of reactions and um, it's usually, there's a lot of joy and happiness. Oh, it's awesome, I love it. But one of the most profound reactions I ever had was I made a memorial necklace for somebody. Her husband had passed away. They had triplet girls who were three years old and he had passed away and she came to me and we made a beautiful necklace to celebrate their marriage. And she wrote me a letter after speaking at a grief service during Christmas one year. She said, I wore my necklace and I felt like my husband was there with me. And I'm telling you, every time I tell that story, I just get chills. It's such a privilege to be involved and helping people in a way through jewelry. I mean, who would have thought jewelry could be so rewarding?